The Invisible Man is directed by Lee Winham and stars Elizabeth Moss and Oliver Jackson Conan and is the 2020 adaptation of The Invisible Man. This movie, the first time I saw the trailer, I'm like, holy shit, this looks good. Horror was never my favorite genre. I, you know, when you're younger, it's like, why do you want to be scared? Being scared is not a fun feeling. It's just stressful, and it's just not fun. And the older I get, it's like, no, horror, horror it's got some really cool elements to it. Like, this is awesome. But I've just been disappointed with all these goddamn movies. I mean, it's just garbage after garbage filled, just PG-13 jump scares, just nothing. But lo and behold, this movie, just awesome. So there's a quick little twist, so Adrian Griffin is this tech mobile, mogul, mongrel, Mongolian? No, mogul, yeah. And he is super rich, famous, just super idealistic. His girlfriend is played by Elizabeth Moss, and she is in a very abusive relationship with him. She escapes, finds out he killed himself, and he left her, I think it's like $400 million or $4 million or something like that. But she has to be coherent and not be deemed criminally insane. But as the plot further, she realizes... He faked his death and somehow turned himself invisible. And the camera work in this movie is amazing because it's shot in a very wide angle way where it's like two main characters will be talking in like the left hand corner, but you can see the right, or you can see a couch, or you can see a chair, you can see something, and you're like, okay, is he right there? Is he in that corner? Is that what's going on? Is he right fucking there? And his... And he's so manipulative and crafty. And he has this plan. And his plan falls like dominoes. And it's just... Everything works to a T for him. Except Elizabeth Moss. She's on to it. And she starts slowly figuring it out. And, you know, it's very easy to consider... No... She's fucking crazy, don't listen to her, lock her up, drug her up, call the night. It's very easy to see that, but they do it in such a way where it's like, is she or isn't she? But it's very heavily like, no, she's not insane, there is an invisible man. And the reveal of like, how he turns himself invisible is I thought was just super genius because, you know, I was thinking, I'm like, what are they going to do? Because the original is a potion. Like, what are they going to do? Because of the trailer, it shows him, like, walking on glass and shit, and, like, uh, she dumps something on his face, and it's like, well, if, he, if he's invisible, walking on glass is going to fucking hurt. Getting paint dumped in your open eyes, I'm sure that's going to fucking hurt. What are they going to do? What Spoilers. What they realize what they do is it's a suit it's a suit with a bunch of cameras that reflect the image behind and front everywhere 360 and turn invisible i'm like oh that's so cool and it is just awesome because they do a huge thing with sound too where if you listen closely you can hear footsteps once in a while or you know they really focus on like maybe you can hear this motherfucker breathe if you're listening close enough and if Lee Wilhelm wants to do more, like, Universal Monster movies, oh, fuck it, let him give him the keys to the castle, because this proves that not only can a remake almost, you know what, fuck it, a remake surpass the original, but make a shit ton of money and be rated R with a kick-ass female lead. Solid five out of motherfucking five. 